last class uh, we have discussed about the theories of light, first theory and second theory. First one is uh, Newton's theory of light, second one is uh, Heisen wave theory and after that we discussed about the uh, wavefront. What is mean by wavefront? Wavefront is nothing but the uh, locus of all the particles which are vibrating in same place. Already we have discussed in last class definition of wavefront and uh, how that wavefront we can draw. Today we will discuss about uh, types of uh, waves. Wavefront. Types of wavefronts. First wavefront. First type. Spherical wavefront. will produce due to point source. Let us take a point source. Disturbance will move in all the direction. In three dimensional way, the disturbance will move. For example, after one second, I have a time one second. In one second, disturbance will move from source to at this point. Okay. So, this one, this one, that cover. And this side also same distance, this side also same distance, like that. All the positions we have to join, you will get a first wavefront. So, the whatever particles are there on this wavefront, all that particles will rotate in a same place. If they are in 45, all are 45, 45, 90, all are in a 90. Okay. The distance from source of all these points will be same. This is first wavefront. What about this one? Ray of light and disturbance travel along these rays like this. Okay. Disturbance travels along these rays. This is first one. Again, one more wavefront we can draw. That is next wavefront. It is also spherical. It is a point source. In all the direction, light rays will spread. So first wavefront will form. That is spherical wavefront, which are in a same phase. So these particles are in the same phase. And whatever particles are there on this wavefront, all are in the same phase. Next wavefront like that. So in the form of wavefront, energy will propagate in all the direction. These two are spherical wave. Okay. One more thing here, ray of light, the angle between ray of light and wave is how much here? 90 degree. Here also 90. The angle between ray of light and wave 90 degree. The intensity equal to power upon area. This power as it is area, area of the sphere is what? 4 pi r square. Power is constant, 4 pi is constant, we can say that in density it was proportional to r square. When you move away from the source, intensity goes on decreases with respect to distance. In last year, in wave chapter we discussed in how intensity is related to amplitude. Intensity proportional to square of the amplitude. What about the amplitude? Amplitude proportional to square root of i. Therefore, this is intensity and amplitude we can write. Amplitude proportional to square root of square root of what? Intensity. Intensity we can substitute 1 by r square. The square root of 1 by r square that is what? Amplitude inverse proportional to r. This is variation of intensity with respect to distance and this one variation of amplitude with respect to distance. In which case it is in case of one spherical wavefront. Second one
सिलेंड्रिकल वेव फ्रंट सिलेंड्रिकल वेव फ्रंट ओके सिलेंड्रिकल वेव फ्रंट विल प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू लीनियर सोर्स हियर विच सोर्स हैव टेकन पॉइंट सोर्स हियर सिलेंड्रिकल वेव फ्रंट विल फॉर्म ड्यू टू लीनियर सोर्स दिस वन आई एम टेकिंग लीनियर सोर्स ओके लीनियर सोर्स in all the direction for example this one is linear source in all the direction disturbance will travel okay for one second the disturbance will travel in 10 second in this direction 10 cm 10 cm in all the direction 10 cm disturbance will travel in one second here we can represent see at this point at this point so this is our rm same phase we have to join all these points when you join all those points you will get wave front you will get wave front that wave front is called cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front Light rays will travel this one is first cylindrical wave front again we can draw next cylindrical wave front also we can draw next cylindrical wave front again okay? so next cylinder okay the shape of that wave front is a cylinder that's why cylindrical wave front we can say the angle between ray of light and wave front is how much here 90 degree and how here intensity will vary intensity how that will vary intensity equal to power upon area power upon area area of cylinder here i is equal to power area of cylinder is what 2 pi r into l length of the cylinder is l Okay, length of cylinder. Whatever the length of this linear source is there now, that will be length of this cylinder. One more cylinder will get the length of that cylinder also same. Which will change is there? Radius will change. We can say that intensity inverse proportional to R. Here R, here what? R square. Now, what about amplitude? How amplitude varies over here? Amplitude inverse proportional to square root of R. So we have to take square root of intensity CA. Amplitude inverse directly proportional to square root of intensity. Here square root of intensity if you have taken, you will get amplitude is equal to 1 upon square root of R. This is about what? Cylindrical wavelength. Next one, third one, plane wavelength. plane wave third type plane this plane wave front will produce due to spherical wave front or due to point source or due to linear source how this will produce plane wave front due to point source due to linear source see here this one is spherical wave front like that next wave front next wave front like that okay yes at the infinite distance at a finite distance you will get a spherical effect at infinite distance when you take a very small portion very small portion of this spherical effect this almost what it is this almost plane correct so from point source at infinite distance if you are talking about a very small portion of spherical effect you will get a plane effect plane effect like that the this one is a ray of light, ray of light. These ray of lights are perpendicular to this plane wave front. And similarly, here also you can talk. This one is linear source at first. When you move away from this one, initially the arc will be like this, cylinder shape will be like this. When you move away from that one, cylinder shape goes on, increases, increases at infinite distance. When you talk about very small portion, in that case, one will get 
very plain portion only. The plain portion, so that the wave front, the plain wave fronts will produce due to point source or linear source. The sources are at infinite. If sources are infinite, rays are coming from infinite. How that rays will come parallel? These are parallel rays. If sources are infinite, rays are parallel to each other. Okay. Now wave front dot draw here. Wave front. This one is what? Wave front. Wave front. This wave front is called as what? Plane wave front. Next wave front we can talk. Plane wave front. Here also plane wave front. Here intensity at this point, intensity at this point, intensity at this point will be same. Why? Because see, how many lines are passing here through this first wave front? Four. Here also four. Here also four. Intensity will not change here. Intensity directly proportional to r to the power zero. R to the power zero is nothing but one. Why here intensity of light it changes? See, I'll say I'll take a only this much portion over here. This much portion. Same portion I'll take over here. Same portion. Okay. Now. See through this area, how many rays of lights are passing? Three, correct? Same area have taken one here, here area of this one, area of this one, same. Here three rays of lights are passing, but here how many rays of lights are passing? Only two. This is one, and it is second. One. Again, when you take the same area at this point, yes, how many? Rays of lights are passing here only one. When you talk about the wave front very near to source of light, in that we have to consider one small area. Through that one, how many rays of lights are passing? Maximum rays of rays will pass when so which is very near to source. When you move away from that source. The rays of lights passing through that area will goes on decreases. So that's why intensity at this point is more than this one. Intensity at this point is more than this one. And here only one ray is passing on this area. Through this area, two rays. Through this area, three rays. Like that. Similarly here also. And what about here? When you take a small portion of this spherical wave front at infinite, I'm talking at infinite. So this plane wave front. How many rays are passing? Four. It means that intensity will not change. In, it, in which case, plane wavefront. And also, you can say amplitude directly proportional to r to the power zero. Yes. Why? Because amplitude proportional to square root of pi. So now we can say that amplitude proportional to r to the power zero. Okay. This is plane wavefront. The angle between plane wavefront and Ray of light is how much here? 90 degree. Okay. This is about the spherical wave front, cylindrical wave front, and plane wave front. Wave front means what? Wave front means locus of all the particles which are vibrating in same place. That one is called wave front. Diverging wave. Yes. And angle between this ray of light 
and wavefront is 90 only. At any point you can take angle between ray of light and the wavefront is 90. This one is a diverging wave. If rays of light are converging like this, converging, in this case, wavefront will be like this. Different. 90 degrees should come now. These are converging rays. Now, wavefront. The angle between this wavefront and the ray is how much? 90 degrees. And this wavefront is called converging wavefront. Converging wavefront. And if you have taken parallel rays, parallel rays, in this case, wavefront is what? Plane wavefront here. These are plane wavefront. Okay. First wave front. This is second wave front. Okay. This light ray is moving from one wave front to another wave front along this ray. And here also, light is moving from one wave front to another wave front. How much time will take from one wave front to another wave front along this ray, along this ray, and along this ray? Same time will take. Why? Because medium will be same the speed of light in all the direction will be same. That's why time taken by light from one wave front one wave front to another will be same along any ray along any ray that takes same time from here here one second means from here here also one second these two are nodes in wavefront ok next we will move on Heisen principle that is very important Heisen's principle Will move or energy will move from source 
in all the direction. According to hygiene, hygiene assumed some points here, few points. First point he assumed that this one is a primary source. The waves are producing from this source in all the direction. The wavelength of that wave is lambda, frequency nu, and speed of light is c. He assumed. And after that, whatever first wave front will produce now will form each point of these of this wave front. Each point, each point on this wave front act as a secondary source. It means that this point also act as a source of light. It is what it is, primary source of light, and first wave front will form on that wave front. Any point you can take. All points will act as a what? Source of light for next disturbance. Again, waves will produce from this source. And these are called secondary source. Why? Because this one is primary source and this one is secondary source for next disturbance. Here also, first step. Yes, first one. Each point on a wavefront wavefront acts like a secondary secondary source of light or also you can say that fresh source of disturbance fresh source of disturbance okay. here we are getting waves and here also if it is acting acts like a source means this will also produce waves the whatever wavelength produced by this primary source now same wavelength of light this will also produce. There is no change in wavelength, frequency and speed of light. If wavelength produced by this source is 10 minutes, wavelength produced by this source also 10. If here frequency of this source is 10 and frequency of this wave produced by this source is what? 10 only. There is no change in frequency, wavelength and speed of light. Okay. Wavelength frequency and speed of light will be same as wave produced produced by primary source primary source okay hope you understood what is the first point says? Each point on this wavefront will act as a secondary source of light. From that source of light, again, waves will start producing, means disturbance will move from here, generate from here. Okay. It means that uh, these source also produce the waves in all the direction. In all the direction, so those will produce disturbance. Okay. Like this in this direction, in this direction, like that, in all the direction, then produce disturbance. These disturbances are called what? Wavelets. That is the first wavelet, like that. For example, this one, one source I'll take. Okay. This is another source. Here, whatever circle I draw on, center of that circle, what is the secondary source? Each point, each point on this wavefront will act as what? Secondary source, and that is producing what? Disturbance. Okay. Around that one, 
So this again small small wavefronts will form here, wavefront in all direction. So this side distance, this side distance will be same. These whatever wavefronts are there, these are called secondary wavelets, secondary wavelets, wavelets. So these are called secondary wavelets. Secondary wavelets, second wavelets. Okay, second point. Disturbance, disturbance from these points, these points are called. Are called secondary wavelets. Secondary wavelets. These are called as what? Secondary wavelets. These secondary wavelets from which point? From which source? Secondary source. So these are from secondary source. So this is second point. Okay. Third one. Third one. And these whatever wavelets are there. These wavelets will spread in all the direction. So like this. So actually it is what uh, small wavelet, the next wavelet like that uh, wavelets. Those wavelets spreads in all the direction with what speed? Speed of light. These secondary wavelets. Wavelets spreads spreads in all the direction with the speed with the speed of light with the speed of light in all the direction that wavelets will spread with the speed of light. Okay. Next after that next one is very important assumption. Assume by that uh, hygiene. Here next we have to draw tangent. See here. tangent. We have to draw tangent, common tangent on this secondary wavelets we have to draw. This one is the primary source, and points on this wavefront will act as a secondary source. The disturbance produced by a secondary source is called wavelets. We have to draw tangent here. Tangent we know that. So like that tangent we draw. Common tangent. So whatever tangent will draw on this wavefront, wavelength, that tangent should be common for this one. That tangent should be common for this one. So like this. So these are what? So wavelets, wavelets, tangent not to draw. We have to draw tangent in forward direction. In forward direction, tangent I'm drawing tangent. Like this uh, tangent when you draw. Okay, what you will get here? Next wavefront. This one is the first wavefront. It is a second wavefront. And time taken by light to move from here to here, same. Here to also same. In all, along any ray, time will take same only. Okay. So this is a next wavefront. It is. Again, we can draw. Okay, according to this uh, first point. It is a second wavefront. Each point on this second wavefront will act as what? Secondary source for next disturbance. Again, we can draw here wavelets. I will write that the fourth point. After that, again draw that one. Fourth point. Common tangent. Common tangent drawn on A. Secondary wavelets, secondary wavelets in forward direction, secondary wavelets in forward direction, direction. Use new wavefront, 
не выйдут. This is very important in a forward direction. In a forward direction. Here we can draw tangent. In forward direction also we can draw tangent. And backward also can draw. But we can't draw here. Here wavefront will not fall. Why? Because propagation of light in forward direction only. The propagation of light will be not in backward direction. Why that will be not in backward direction? We'll explain. And also we will see why backward wavefront will not form. Why backward wavefronts are preserved. Only forward wavefront will talk. Here we can draw that uh, tangent in forward direction as well as backward. You can ask question in backward direction also wavefront will form. No. So in backward direction wavefront will not form. In forward direction only wavefront will form. We will explain why in backward direction wavefront will not form. Now we can say that each point on this wave, which we can now second wave, second wave will act as a source of light, secondary source of light, and here this secondary source of light will produce what wavelengths like that. Okay, like that wavelengths. From each point, we can draw wavelength. For our convenience, only I am taking a few points and drawing wave fronts. Yes, wave front. Here wave front. Correct? Wave front. And we have to draw tangent here. Tangent in uh, so on this tangent on secondary wave x. Secondary wave x. Okay. When you draw tangent on this secondary wave x, you will get next wave front. Next wave front will get. Correct? And these points on this wavefront will act as a what? Again, source of light for next disturbance. Like that, energy will propagate in forward direction. Energy will propagate in forward direction. Why? Because, for example, this is one room. Wavefront, like that, uh, wavefront, wavefront, wavefront. 
but intensity of light brightness will be less as compared to first compartment why because first compartment is see so direct light is incident on this one here brightness of light is more at this compartment compared to second compartment and compared to third compartment so how it is energy is propagating in the form of wave front in the form of wavelets wavelets where we can draw where we can draw wavelets wavelets we can draw so around source secondary source of light secondary source of light we can draw wavelets so these are wavelets secondary wavelets like that in the form of wave front so light will propagate in all the direction that's why in all the rooms light will travel so in the form of wave front okay Yes. Each point, these four points are very important. Each point on a wavelength acts as a secondary source of light, and wavelength of uh, whatever wave is produced by this source is same as primary source. It is the first point. Okay. And second one, from secondary source, a disturbance will start uh, producing. So that disturbance from these points are called as what secondary. wavelets these are secondary wavelets next one these secondary wavelets spreads in all the direction with what speed with the speed of light in all the direction okay and fourth one common tangent drawn on a secondary wavelength secondary wavelength in forward direction in forward direction gives new wave front yes okay in forward direction only why you have to draw tangent why not in backward direction so that one have to explain okay This one is source of light, and here first wave front is formed. On this wave front, I make one point. This black as the secondary source, and around the secondary source, some wave length we can draw. Wave length, right? And this one is what ray of light. I will take a two points, point A and point B. Point A and point B. At point A, at point A, at point A, angle between ray of light. Ray of light in which direction? In this direction. Correct. What about direction of wavelength? 
directional plane wavelet is spreading in all the direction if it is a source of light wavelet will be spreading all the direction this wavelet direction also this side ray direction also this side wavelet direction also that side the angle is how much here zero angle is zero in both are in same direction see it is one vector it is another vector the angle between these two vector is what zero here angle between ray of light and direction of wavelet both are in the same direction theta equal to zero here if theta equal to zero theta equal to zero zero by two how much zero cos zero you get one it means that intensity something intensity of light you will get here at this point correct at point b at point b at point b yes we are consuming at this point the direction of ray this side this side direction of ray direction of ray. what about uh, direction of wavelength this one is source of light direction of wavelet is this side when you are seeing the wavelet is spreading in all the direction correct wavelet is spreading in all the direction the right side of this source is spreading in this direction correct the left side of this source is spreading in this direction the angle this one is a ray of light this one is what direction of wavelet is hope you understood when you talk about point b the direction of wavelet at point b this side this side and what about ray ray will be in forward direction only ray all the direction can take so like this will be in forward direction okay the angle is what here the theta is equal to 180 theta is equal to 180 so now this intensity i is equal to okay. if theta equal to 180 Yes, theta is equal to one in intensity proportional to what? Cos square one eighty by two. One eighty upon two is nothing but what? Ninety. Cos ninety zero. Intensity is equal to what? Zero. According to Kirchhoff's rule, intensity at this point will get zero. Intensity in which direction? In backward direction, it will get zero. That's why we can't draw here tangent. Here I explained here tangent we can draw on a wavelet in forward direction, not a backward direction. It is one explanation according to Kirchhoff's. And one more explanation, okay, one more reason we can say energy always propagate in a forward direction, not a backward direction. Okay. One more reason I'll give here. According to superposition of uh, waves and interference of waves, superposition of waves and uh, interference of waves. In last year, you have discussed in wave chapter. Here also we'll discuss in the next concept interference about interference. This is crust, and it is another crust. If crust and crust overlaps, that one is called as what? Constructive interference. One crust, another one is tough overlapping. That is destructive. Intensity will be what? Zero. Amplitude will be zero when one crust and one tough are overlapping. So resultant will get zero. Will get. Okay. Here also same. By taking So interference phenomena, we can explain why in backward direction wave fronts are resulted. It is a source of light, primary source. This one is what uh, wave like this uh, wave I am taking. Okay. This is. Wave front, correct? First wave front we have to. First wave front. It is a spherical wave front. First wave front. And this point will act as a second source. 
this one also acts as a secondary source, secondary source. So this one is primary source and this one is a secondary source. Whatever light produced by this primary source, they will, will be same as the second or a. So they will produced by sorry, wave produced by secondary source, wavelength of that one will be same as primary source. Now this is a like a second source, waves will produce from that source. See, first wave like this, first wave like this uh, producing first wave and second wave, third wave like that uh, in all the direction, in all the direction, it is what it is, it is not on a two dimensional space. Just imagine it is what in a three dimensional space that light ray will spread or energy will propagate. It is a source of light in all the direction. The light will uh, propagate in the form of wave according to height. Oh. Here also, in this side, left side also, the energy will uh, propagate like this. Correct? And uh, this one is what? This one is wave produced by primary source. And it is secondary source. The secondary source also producing waves in all the direction like this, like this, I will take only one, two, four here, it is one and it is second one, like this, it is producing. So it is a forward, it will move only, it is because it is only one way to construct or to distract, there is no another way here. So this will propagate in forward action. See, in backward action, if this is producing energy backward action, what about the, this, this is first. What about this one? Trump. These two will be interpreted. Superimpose. After superimposing, intensity at this point, intensity at this point due to this source is what? Zero. You will get amplitude at this point and is zero. Because of that reason, backward here, backward wavefront will not drop. This is next wave rate. It is next wave rate like that. Wavelets will get here. Wavelets. We have to draw tangent over here. Tangent we have to draw on the surface of secondary wavelets in forward action. We will get next wavefront. And we can't draw here tangent. Why? Because in, forward, in backward direction the energy will not propagate. If that energy propagates also, intensity is what? Zero here. According to principle of superposition of two waves. By taking superposition of uh, waves also we can explain why that water wavefront is resected and this is a uh, heat charge also we can explain. Okay. Wavefront have considered over here spherical wavefront. 
spherical wavefront object. This each point on this wavefront act as a secondary source. This secondary source will produce wavelengths in all the direction. Okay. Now tangent. It is a wavefront AB. Tangent we have to draw. Tangent. When you draw tangent, you get next wavefront. Next wavefront. This one is C and D. C. A B dash. For example, this is B B dash. C C dash. D D dash D D dash. I have a given time time t in that time. Okay. This distance moves from A to A, A to D dash, B to B dash, C to C dash, and B to D dash. And we can say that A A dash, which is equal to B B dash, which is equal to C C dash, and D D dash is equal to C into D. Distance velocity is equal to what? Velocity is equal to distance upon time. Distance is equal to distance is equal to what? Velocity into time. That's why this whatever distance traveled by this ray or time taken by light to travel from where to where. One wavefront to another wavefront is how much t? T. With what speed this light is moving? With the speed of light. This distance we can write velocity into time. All distances are same. This is a a dash, b b dash, c c dash. A a dash is what? The radius of this sphere. Wavelet is nothing but not a circle. Wavelet is nothing but what? Sphere. Small small sphere. Okay, this one. Okay. So like this, a a dash. B B dash. All distances are same. Okay. The angle between this ray of light and wavefront is what? 90 degree. Where I have considered this one? I have considered this wavefront at a finite distance from source. At a finite, very near to source, I have considered. If you are considered wavefront at infinite distance, at infinite distance, if you are considered on small portion, what you get? Plane wave. When you take very near to the source uh, spectrum at infinite, you get a plane wave. Each point on this plane wavefront acts as a secondary source, and those secondary source. Uh, Produce a disturbance in all the direction. Those are called wavelets and tangent drawn in a forward direction on second wavelets will use next wavefront. And it is A, B, plane wavefront, C and D. It is a next plane wavefront. And here we can write this distance, this distance, all distance are what? Same over here. All distance same. Okay, I think you saw that uh, custard apple. Custard apple on that custard apple, uh, what is the shape of that one? Full smooth or uh, so little bit uh, like wavelet type, uh, so structure will be there. So like that, uh, if it is a source of light, we get the uh, wavelets. This wavelet. Okay, custard apple. The tangent you have to draw on that custard apple, uh, that whatever crusts are there. So tangent you have to draw. We get what? Next to Just practical example I give. So like that will be there. So in the all the direction, light will propagate with the speed of light. So it is a Heisen construction about wavelength and wavefront. Yes. So this distance will be same as over here. Same distance from here to here. We can represent a a dash, b b dash, c c dash like that, and d d dash. Okay.
we had a prism. Okay. In the thing, how that prism will behave? Let's take the prism. This is prism. Okay. Rays of light you are instantly on this sun. Prism. It is a first the parallel ray you are instantly. Parallel rays of light. If rays are parallel, wavefront will be plain or spherical or cylindrical, wavefront will be plain. You know that. This is what? Plain wavefront. Plain wavefront. This plain wavefront is called incident plain wavefront. Wavefront. For instant plane. At this point, whatever particles are there, so this point, all these particles are in same place. When you join all those particles, you will get wavefront. So here, next wavefront will move here, next wavefront will move here, next wavefront will move here. At this point, and this particle, this particle are in same place. Okay. Next. Here, this light will travel inside this prism. The speed of light what happens? Decreases. Speed of light decreases. And here the ray in which portion is maximum? Inside the prism here. Yes no? When this light ray crosses the prism yes, listen here. When this bottom ray crosses the prism in that case where will be this uh, first ray? Okay, we know that this will refraction takes place. Yes, refraction takes place. After refraction, rays will come like this, this ray, and it is second ray will come, and it is third ray, fourth, and fifth. Okay. My question is, when this bottom ray crosses the prism, bottom ray crosses the prism, where will be top ray? Top ray at this point? No. Top ray is somewhere here. Right now? Somewhere here. It means that so this particle will come and this will reach. And this will meet at this point. Okay. Here we have to draw wavefront. How we draw that wavefront? From this point you have to draw. So like this will draw or like this will draw. So how will draw that wavefront? Wavefront will draw like this. Wavefront. Wavefront is perpendicular to what? Ray. Yes. When this point will cross this bottom of the prism at this point, in that case, whatever this particle is there, no? This particle. So this particle and this particle are in the same phase, you will get a wavefront over here. Correct? Huh? This is wavefront. Wavefront is going. When this particle crosses this prism, where will be this particle? This disturbance, okay. Where will this disturbance? Disturbance will be at this point. Disturbance at this point. Why? Because here distance traveled by this disturbance in a denser medium is what? Less here. Here only less distance is traveled by that disturbance in denser medium. Here maximum distance traveled by this disturbance in a denser medium. So that's why this will not slow down. So which one will move forward here? This one will move forward because the speed of light in a railer is greater than denser. Here, denser portion is more compared to here. That's why when this disturbance crosses the bottom of the prism, at the same time, the this disturbance will reach over here. Will reach over here. Yes. So when you draw all the, these points, this point, this point, all these points, we will get a next wavefront will get. This wavefront is called what? Refracted wavefront. Refracted wavefront. Yes. Refracted. Next, same. This is a refracted wavefront. 
will get yes no the angle between this wave front and the ray of light is not 90 degree hope you understood why it is on wave front you got lights because in denser medium the speed of light decreases here most of the space is what rarer that's why the speed of disturbance will be more this distance is more than this distance why because these are in the same phase the same phase particle only got to join so that's why the same phase with this particle which one is the same phase this particle this particle and we have to join all those particles will get a refracted wave front this is the behavior of the prism when plasma rays of light when incident on that prism okay so in next class we will discuss the behavior of uh, convexions behavior of mirror when plane wave fronts are incident on that convex lens and convex mirror and concave mirror okay. so we will discuss in next class and also we will discuss the refraction of light and uh, reflection of light derivation in next class okay. thank you